Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's topic of discussion is uh, again uh, obstetric topic. So today we are going to discuss uh, how to differentiate IUGR or the short for gestational age babies. Okay, uh, let's just know the basic difference between them. It's like a short for gestational age babies are constitutionally small. They are just genetically small because their parents are small. So the fetus is also smaller in size. While IUGR is a pathological condition uh, where the baby is growing pathologically smaller because it has intrauterine growth restriction, it is pathologically small. Okay. Knowing the very basic difference between these two conditions, we call the baby small if the abdominal circumference or the effective fetal weight is less than 10th percentile. For this, we have to plot the AC or the EFW on this chart, which a machine gives you automatically while doing the ultrasound. So when you plot this, and the effective fetal weight or the AC comes below this 10th centile, we call the baby is small. Okay. For example, suppose the fetal weight comes uh, like 1500 at the gestational age of 36 weeks. Okay. So the week is 36 and the fetal weight comes like uh, 1500 so it comes here okay and this plotting comes below the 10th centile so the baby is small okay i hope you have understood this uh, so uh, then the how to differentiate the baby is pathologically small or it is constitutionally small okay for this let's see this division uh, when the ac or the efw is less than 10th centile we call the baby is small okay if the gestational age at which this condition is diagnosed is less than 32 weeks we call it early onset and if the condition is diagnosed at more than 32 weeks, we call it late onset. Okay. So if the condition is like early onset, early onset and AC or EFW is less than 10 centile. But if the AC or EFW is less than third centile or the umbilical artery has absent end diastolic flow, we classify this thing directly as intrauterine growth restriction. If the AC or EFW is less than third centile or there is absent endostic flow on umbilical artery Doppler, we call it IUGR. And if the AC or EFW is between third to tenth centile and uh, we have performed the Doppler, if the umbilical artery or the uterine artery doppler pi value is more than 95th percentile okay if the doppler is also abnormal we call it iugr but if the doppler is normal but ac or efw is between third to third to tenth centile we call it short for gestational age okay and if this condition of smallness is diagnosed at more than 32 weeks of gestation, we call it late onset. Okay, this is late onset. If the AC or the EFW is less than third centile directly, we again call it IGR. Okay, but if the AC or the EFW is between third to tenth centile, we have to check three criteria. If any two out of these three criteria are there, let's see what are the criteria. Like AC or EFW is less than 10th centile. AC or EFW crossing more than 
50th percentiles and CPR less than 5th percentile or the umbilical artery PI is more than 95th percentile. If any two out of these three are there, we call it IUGR. But if uh, any two out of these three are not there, we call it short for gestational age. Uh, let's just um, make this point clear that AC or EFW crossing more than 50th centiles. What is this? Let's just suppose the baby has at 32 weeks of gestation 2500 grams of weight. Okay. The baby was plotted here in the previous ultrasound scan. And now the baby comes to you at like 33 weeks of gestation and the, gest and the fetal weight is around 1200 to 1300 gram and it is plotted here. So what is this? See this is the uh, suppose 80th centile and this is like 30th, 30th 1, 3, 13th centile okay. So the difference, see the previously the baby was quite in a good range of 10 to 90. It was absolutely normal. But after just 3 weeks, the baby has become at 13th centile. So this difference, 80 minus 13 is more than 50th centile. So we definitely call it IUGR. Okay. Um, so let's just revise this again. To call the baby small, the AC or the EFW is less than 10 centile. Then we have to see the gestational age, whether it is early onset or the late onset. If it is early onset, see the AC or EFW is less than 3rd centile. Or on Doppler, we have got the absent endastolic flow on the uh, umbilical artery. So we call it IUGR straightforward. And if the AC or EFW is between 3 to 10 centile and the Doppler parameters are also abnormal, we call it IUGR. But if the Doppler parameters are normal, we call it small for gestational age. And if the condition of smallness is diagnosed at more than 32 weeks of age, we call it late onset. If the AC or EFW is less than 3rd centile, we call it IUGR straightforward. And if it is between 3rd to 10th centile, then we have to see any two out of three criteria like AC or EFW less than 10th centile, the AC or EFW is crossing more than 50th centiles, and the CPR is less than 5th centile, or the umbilical artery PI is more than 95th centile. If any two out of these three are positive, we call it IGR. If not, we call it small for gestational age. Uh, I hope I have made this topic easy for you. Please subscribe the channel and uh, you can ask your doubts in the comment section below. Thank you.